Another segment of the Coaching Corner, RJ Adams here. You are there, you'll always be you and I'll always be me and keep that in mind when you work in this business. I thought we'd do something really different. We haven't done this before. You ready? Nails and bales. Nails and bales, what the hell, what is that? Well, how many auditions have you been on that you've nailed? And how many did you not do good on that you bailed? Should be interesting. Hi, I'm Daisy Marchese, and I didn't nail an audition one time for a kid's series, Disney. Um, never really had any acting experience, except for one commercial. And I was doing background, and out of the blue, the director comes up to me and says they won't audition me because I happen to know people that worked on the set, blah blah blah. Point of story is, I'm so nervous when this happens. It's in LA, August, so I'm like in front of my car, I'm still in high school, trying to park my car, remembering my lines, like sweating, like more sweat than I've ever, like I'm scared at this point that they're gonna like smell me from <laughs> before I get in the room. Get in there. I didn't even know if I was supposed to look into the camera or not. I had to ask them that question. And yeah, didn't get it. And then they offered me a background role on it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rebecca Klaus. Um, not sure if this is a nail or a bail story. It was just very strange. I'd say a little bit of both. Uh, I went once to a while back for an audition, or not an audition, but just to meet an agent. And it was kind of a. He asked me questions like, uh, So, where did you get those hips? <laughs> and I was like, well, I was born with them, so. And, uh, you know, he, he asked me really random questions like that, and then he's like, you know, I can't see you playing this or this or this or this. And I was like, okay, well, what could you see me playing? He's like, I could see you playing maybe the butch lesbian friend. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fine, but uh, that's a little limited, I guess. It was just kind of a strange experience, but... Um, I'd say in a way I nailed it because I just didn't really let it get to me, but anyway. Hi, uh, I'm Randall C. Brown. Um, probably the worst auditions I've ever been on have been um, like student films and, and low budget shorts. And I end up sitting there for an hour and there's like 30 other people there and I overthink it and uh, screw up. But then I go to a studio, like at ABC, go in, two minutes, in and out, it's great. Hi. My name is Maya Butler. Um, I have a total fail experience. Um, I went for my first audition ever that was like a legitimate audition and it was a feature film and I was so excited I had no idea how I even got it. Um, I walk into the waiting room and I'm sitting next to this woman who is clearly probably like 15 years older than me and I notice she's going for the same part and I look at her and she's so beautiful and she's just everything amazing that I'm like, how am I even going against this person? So I go on IMDb, like RJ tells me, this is the worst thing I could have ever done. So I went on to IMDb and I IMDb'd her when I was waiting in the room and I saw that she was like this massive deal. She was like a series regular on all these shows and blah, blah, blah. And then there's like me. So that was the worst thing I could have ever done as opposed to just sticking to myself and looking at my lines and not caring. And I went into the audition room after her um, and I sat there and forgot my like five lines I had and just stared at the camera and failed. My name is Jay Denton and uh, one time I went in for a low budget audition and we read our lines and then after we finished reading our lines the casting director asked the camera to just keep rolling and he took his coat off and put his coat um, in the room about 10 feet in front of the camera and then just said the camera's still rolling um, at me and he just said okay this coat is your dead mother and you just walked into this room and found your mother dead go and, and so uh, yes yeah, so I, I kind of did whatever I did with this coat and that was the moment where I was thinking what the hell am I doing <laughs> Hi, I'm Dane Johnson, and the most epic fail I ever had was I was called into Warner Brothers to read a very small part that they had handpicked me um, to, to read for. They really liked me. It was all good to go. And I had four lines to read, 
and I hadn't been acting more than a month at the time. And uh, when I said them, I couldn't stop shaking. My hand was going like, and I was looking at the casting director, I was looking back, I was, I don't know, I was just trying to hold it and shake it the whole time. But let's say I didn't get it. But one of my best stories is right when I got in town, I did a background job for a SAG, um, a SAG uh, webisode. And the casting director and director liked how I was on set that they ended up bumping me up and giving me a line as a bartender. And that's how I got in SAG in yes. one day. Hi, it's Jay Yi, and uh, I don't really have anything. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie O'Malley, and one time my agent called me and told me I had an audition, but she wouldn't tell me what it was for. She just told me the location and the time. And so I show up, and it's in a room, and they have a camera just like this in front of me, and they say, okay, um, so turn the camera on and they say we heard that you reported your sister was uh, abducted by aliens can you tell us more about that and um, I kind of froze for a second it was I don't even remember what I said this is a really long time ago but uh, so I didn't know what what happened and I called her and I was like what the heck was that she said oh you know it was for a feature film but we'll just see what happens so I'm in the movie theater and I'm watching the fourth kind and I see that scene in front of me happened, and um, so I guess it was kind of a fail, but then they called me in for something else, so it was also good. <laughs> I am Stephanie Aiden. Um, one time I was auditioning as a waitress, and I've had lots of weird jobs, but I have never been a waitress in real life. So we do the first part, and it's the dialogue, and everything goes great, and then the director is like, okay, go pick up the plates and serve the couple. And I was just like, oh shit, I don't know how waitresses hold plates. I've been to a million restaurants and suddenly your mind is like, oh my god, if I put my thumb, would that be touching the food? And that would be wrong. So I pick them up like trays. I'm holding the plates and I get to the table and I'm like, how am I going to set the plates on the table if my hands are under the plate? So I just like throw them down and they play all over the place. And I was just, and I just stood there and I was like, enjoy. And I left. And, uh, it was, it was awful, but then I was on a veil for it, so who the hell knows. Hi, I'm Zach Laboza. Uh, my biggest bail was I was out for a commercial audition, and I'm sitting in the room, and usually it's a bunch of people that kind of look like me, and this time it was like 40 giant black guys. <laughs> and so I went into the room, and I'm doing the audition, and the director goes, what's, what's this guy going at, doing here? <laughs> and his AD goes, oh, I guess, I guess I clicked on him before we decided to go black. So. <laughs> Uh, on the nail side, I think the best nail I have ever had was I've got this film coming up in January that the director knew me and knew what I did, so I didn't even have to audition, which is always great because auditions <laughs> suck. So that was my biggest nail. Hi, I'm Saffron Mazia. Um, I don't want to tell this story. RJ's got a cattle prod to my ass right now. I don't appreciate it, but here I am. Um, so. I had an audition for ABC, which came out of nowhere, um, and uh, long story short, I got it. I worked on a web series with this, this dude um, a year ago, and he submitted it. This was recent. This was like, this was last Friday. I, you know, I went in and I had fun, and it was great, and I was in this tiny room, and, and the writer and the director were cool, and okay, everything is, was groovy, so, and I just, I went in, and I said, fuck it, I had fun, and, and then I left, and I went to work. I emailed RJ and I said, you know, this is how it went, it was pretty cool, I think that I rushed it, I was really nervous, but I had fun, blah blah blah, and he says, well, yeah, I think it went cool too, because they want you to come in on Monday. And I was like, oh, shit. So, um, I got the sides Saturday night, um, and I looked at them Saturday night and Sunday, and I overthought it over the weekend because it was ABC, and I've never been a part of anything so grand in my life, so, um, Saturday night and Sunday, and I overthought it over the weekend because it was ABC, and I've never been a part of anything so grand in my life. So, um, uh, I, I get in the room, and basically how we did it was that it was me and two other girls reading for the same part, and then there were, there were a couple other women reading for the other parts, and it was just like, we were all supposed to be sisters, so it was all just like a scene where we would be interacting. But first, I went in, and I read for, you know, I just did the scene that 
I had done in the audition, but they were going to be spending some more time on us, we were going to be playing with the actresses a little bit just to see what we could do, if we could take direction, whatever. I went in and I said, I don't want to do this audition and hold back. I don't want to be afraid. Um, and I don't, I don't want to feel like I could have done more. Or I don't want to feel like I got in my own way. Um, I just want to do it 100% because if not now, then when? And if not me, then who? You know, it's like that. I think I just overthought it and I, I uh, just, like, it just didn't happen. So, um, so I went home and I cried. Uh. Yeah. You're probably saying, who were those guys? That's my North Hollywood workshop. See? They're pretty interesting, aren't they? Got a lot of interesting stories. Did you nail it or did you fail it? Listen, guys, if you failed at an audition, meaning you didn't get the part or you got in your head, as Saffron was talking about, or any of the mistakes actors make, it just takes practice, it takes time. And eventually, through experience and through doing it, you get better and you understand how it works. Auditioning is very different than working on a set. The two things really are not related because what you do on the audition is not the day of the work. There you have other actors, you have the set, you know, the director usually isn't there telling you how to play the scene or any of that kind of stuff. So you're going to make mistakes, you're going to have things happen, but that's how you learn and that's how you grow. You should never be afraid of that or feel bad about it. Don't leave an audition and be beating yourself up because it's payoff time. Think of it as free education. Every time you go on a reading, no matter what happens, it's free education. You're getting an education. You leave it, you're, you're richer for it, right? How do you think good actors become good actors? They've made all those mistakes. Yeah, I'm talking about the best. They were bad at one time. And you can go on YouTube and you can search out certain actors doing auditions and you go, oh, I can't believe it. That bad? Yeah, you know. But they keep doing it. They get better. So will you. Appreciate you being here on the Coaching Corner. Never give up. Because a lot of those you're going to nail. Some of them you won't. But I wouldn't worry about it. We'll see you next time here on the Coaching Corner.